This is the second time in a week that a misunderstanding at a mining site has turned violent, leading to the loss of lives in Manso and its environs. Last week, a 27-year-old was allegedly lynched at a mining site, while his friend was severely injured after surviving a mob attack at Manso Asaman. This was after they were accused of stealing gold at a mining site. The latest incident happened at Manso Kenyago after a disagreement broke out between some inhabitants within the area and a security guard at the site. According to the police, the investigations show that the residents invaded the mining site and the security guard on duty fired a gun sporadically in an attempt to sack them. That led to a resident getting shot to death. To show their displeasure at what had happened, the agitated residents bent some mining equipment belonging to a Chinese company. The police say the residents, as part of the agitation, attacked a Chinese national who works at a site. Speaking to City News, the public relations officer of the Ashanti Regional Police Command, ASP Gordwin Ahiano, said the injured person is receiving treatment at a hospital as the owner of the mining site is said to be invited to assist with investigations. He noted that the security guard who fired a gun is currently on the run. The deceased person has also been identified as Tibin Ka Elijah, 34. His body has also been deposited at the Hospital, that is the St. Martin's Catholic Church. The police have commenced investigation into this unfortunate incident. The owner of the mining concession will be invited to the command, as well as the said security officer who fired the gunshot, will also be invited to assist police in investigation. So that is what I can see. Yes, an incident like that happened within the months here, the south district uh, investigating that. So as it stands now, no one has been arrested? Uh, uh, since uh, the time I spoke to the officer in charge of the district, no arrest had been made. At least at this morning when I spoke to him, no arrest had been made. But then he had assured me that you will get the owner of the concession and the safe security, who is currently on the run for questioning. So any Further updates, we will communicate that to you.